Hi guys, welcome. This is Amalia from Crafty Dream Studio. Thank you for joining me today. Today we are going to be working with Chalkology Paste in White. We're going to be using our angled squeegee. And I love this transfer. This is the Explore More transfer. You get 12 different individual transfer, which are the perfect, perfect size for making cups, for personalizing, you know, smaller items. But you can also use several of them for a larger item, which I'm about to show you. So I just love this one. It has so many little great sayings. This one says, let's get lost, wild and free is the way to be. And so the adventure begins, great for weddings. Explore more, never look back, wander, oh yeah. Let's go explore, hashtag outside, happy camper, adventure vibes, just awesome. This, this one up here, oh there's wander, and let's see what's on that one. I don't remember off the top of my head. And I, that way you get a good look at what the transfer offers. So that one up there says, say yes to new adventures. Okay, so that's what it says. This is, a, like I said, one of my favorite new transfers. And we're going to be using it today with this, um, it's a it's a, a piece of paper that I found at my local craft store and it is just has a map. Then, of course, we're gonna be using a frame from the dollar store. This is if you've watched the previous video that was option one. This I'm calling option two. It also, option one also used a picture frame. It was smaller and it used this paper but it used a different transfer. So I'm gonna show you how you can use this. All right. I've already started for the sake of time. And I know I have this sideways, and the reason I have it sideways is because I'm going to be using the actual paper as a guide, that the one it comes with inside, so I'm gonna be using this transfer which says wild and free is the way to be. Do you see where the black edging is of that match? That is all I'm using to line these up. So it was really quick to line them up. Cause normally if you watch my videos, you know that lining up your transfer, you know, where you want it is the hardest part, which is really honestly not that hard. But, so I'm gonna press this down firmly. I wanna have really, really good contact because everywhere you see the, the silk screen, that's where the paste is going to go. So I'm pushing this down really well, especially on these letters so we get nice crisp letters. Okay, and so I already have my others in there. In the middle it says, let's go explore. I have wander over here say yes to new adventures, and then I have never look back. So we are going to turn this and we're going to remove the back. And this one has these little things that you just kind of push up to get to the glass. Yeah, let's see. Yep, that easy. Then I'm removing the two backings. Okay. Trust me guys, this is gonna go by so fast and easy. So we don't need this. Whoops, careful. <laughs> the glass does slide around. All right, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start up here. Now, I didn't use blue taper on any of these because it should be fairly easy. And since they're smaller little transfers, I'm going to go ahead and use, this is a small squeegee that I've actually cut in half, so that's really only half of the squeegee. I'm gonna mix up my paste. 
Okay, and I already have a container of water over here. And so let's get started. I'm just taking a little bit of paste. And honestly, it takes so little paste, especially like on glass, because it's not a porous surface. So the paste just kind of lays on top. And let me get, you can turn this around any way you need to, to make sure that you are getting good coverage. There, that's good. Then I'm just removing the extra, which I call, I call this cleanup. <laughs> you just want to remove the extra paste and all your extra paste goes right back in your container. So there is very little to no waste. Okay, then let's pick this up. Oh, look at how wonderful that looks. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's do, let's turn it around and do this corner. And you're just repeating the process. Take your paste, spread it around. Our Charcology paste is removable with water. So if you get some off of the transfer, like let's say over here on the glass, you just get a little bit of water on a napkin or on a little, um, and it, it comes right off. Easy peasy. I'm just making sure that this one's kind of close. So I'm just gonna take in my time, making sure I get, and see, and it's, I'm just, turning it as I go to make sure that I can go all the way to the edge of that. And then it's taking off the excess. Like that. It is that easy. And then I'm going to remove the transfer. Hopefully I'm in frame. Just start off at a corner to get it started. Here we go. Ta-da! Look at that. Oh, I'm loving this. And then like I said, I'm putting my Let's do the center one now, and that way we only have the corners to work with. I love this one. Let's go explore, and then it has the two arrows going both directions. I love it. And like I said, this transfer is so versatile. And you know, it can be used, you know, for people who enjoy the outdoors, people who like to camp, people who like to travel. And it makes great masculine gifts. Okay. Ta-da! Oh, look at that. And so it comes with, like I said, 12, and I'm just using five of the 12 little transfers that it comes with. So, making sure my hands are clean. Okay, turn that. <clears throat> and then let's do this wander. Great graduation present or birthday present somebody who's getting married, somebody who, you know, is starting something new in their life, a new job, a new career. This is, would make a great gift for that. Then just remove the extra. Do you see how little paste I'm using? Ta-da! Look at that. All right, last one. This project is coming together so quickly. And by using the 
insert that the frame had, it was so easy to line up. Okay, wild and free is the way to be. So neat. Back in. Oh, almost done. Okay, time for the last reveal. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is gonna be one of my favorites, I already know. All right, so I have my glass ready to go. Now I'm going to get my backing and I'm going to get my paper. Just need to make sure that my paper is on correctly. Then I'm going to take my glass and put it on top. Oh, look at that, I love it. Then I'm taking my frame and I'm gonna put that in. Let me do it this way. So this is still wet. So because it's still wet, I'm going to be careful as I place it in my frame. Like this. Just take your time. It's easier if I can see it better this way. There we go. Oops. And the, there's enough lip on the frame that it actually keeps the glass from hitting my surface. Make sure my map is facing the right direction. Perfect. And for this one, you're using the whole 12 by 12 sheet of the scrapbook paper. So there is no cutting involved. It's even easier. Then you just press down on the little things that hold the back of the picture frame. This is such an affordable gift because this is a Dollar Tree picture frame, which goes perfect. Oh my goodness, look at that. I love it. I just love it. And of course you can use any color of paste that you want. I personally like white, it, it makes it pop and it still shows the beautiful uh, paper on the back. I love it. Well, I hope you enjoyed option two of home decor using a picture frame, some scrapbook paper that I just got at my local craft store. And then uh, for this one in particular, we used the Explore More transfer. Um, so, if you like it, uh, please make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the little bell icon so that you can get notifications. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day or night, wherever you're at.